Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic sales management system. Now let's see the requirements. An ID is required, a text editor is required and an operating system is required. Specialities has been mentioned, you can say it. Now let's go to the code part and I'll explain you the code, then we'll run it. So first all the header files are included, then we have the standard line that is using namespace std. Then we have the class name stock where we have certain attributes like the name, array, pass, array, then floating data types like PR, quantity. Then we have the public access specifier under which we have certain functions whose functionality I'll explain you at the as we move forward in the code. So this is the withdrawal. So if the quantity which you entered is greater than or equal to the quantity which is present, then you have to subtract the quantity and you say the stock has been updated because some customers have already bought those stuff and the total and you have to enter the total price to be paid. If the stock is insufficient, it says insufficient stock, then refill. Sometimes you need to refill or you need to add up stuffs. So there the stock is stock is also updated. Here what you are going to check, you are going to check the stocks. Stock comparison or stock check. So here string comparison will be done. Then this is the get to function where you are going to get the name of the quantity. This is the so function where everything will be displayed. Here the add new function. Here the number of products that you wish to add will be shown on the screen. And whatever you are going to do, that is going to be reflected on shop.dat file. Then it asks you to input the name, price and the quantity of the item, then the item will be updated and the stock will also update it. Then in the withdraw function, it asks you to enter the product's name, the quantity. Again, all these transactions are going to be reflected on shop.dat. The record is not found, it says record not found. In the display function, you have to display the stock items along with their price, availability, etc. And if the record is not found, it says empty record room. When your uh, stock are going out, like it is going, it's selling very fast, you need to refill them, right? Or else you'll be stock out. So it asks you to enter the product name, the quantity, after which it says, it says record not found. In case of remove, you need to enter the name of the product which you want to delete or remove. Like some products may be perished, some products may not be in demand, that's why. So which you are going to remove that you are going to store in temp.date. Then there is the main function where it welcomes you to the store management and then it asks you to enter the debt enter to dealer or customer. Then if you want to go as the dealer, you have to enter the password as dealer. Okay. So if you want to go to the customer, then there is no need to log in. And if you want to go as employee, it, you have to enter EMP, it is employee. And if the access you entered something in it, it said sorry, access denied. So now let's run it and I'll show it to you how does this run. Yeah. So we ran, you press enter. So I have to go to the dealer menu, say one. So my password is dealer. It is authorized personnel only. I guess I entered something incorrect. Where is my passcode? Dealer, right? D E A L E R. Okay. No issues. Let's send it again. I have to purchase something. So oh, there is nothing here. Because I have not entered anything. So, products I missed. It says empty record room. Because we have not purchased anything. I have to add it first. I need to add those first. Permission denied. Because if multiple times you are going to do it, it will say permission denied. Let's go to the dealer menu at the D E A L E R. So it says we do not have access to that. I guess we are missing out on something. No issues in that. Find out. 
then you will get the code you can change it as well then we'll go to the employee menu so basically you're getting to know now how does this code run this is how the code will run you go to the employee menu emp okay so what are we going to do we are going to display the stock so it's it just empty so that means it depends on the dealer what you are going to have hmm but says authorized personnel only right this is what we are going to do what i'm going to do is i am going to make it as deal let's see now sometimes uh, some glitch occurs Dealer. Oh, it's six digit only. Okay. Dealer. Um, Because when you will run it again and again, na, so basically sometimes you will be getting lost permission. So yes, we our permission has been denied. No worries. So we can change it and we can get it. No issues in that. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned for it. Thank you and have a great day.